You didn't miss the glorious new Howla. Ready for a night out on South Beach or Wynwood or Brickle, whatever. Is that sway? It looks like sway, man. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Soak it all in. It may smell a little bit like blood and sweat, by the way, after what we saw earlier this evening. We're glad you're with us. We have a spectacular main event. We are determining the pecking order. In the featherweight division, two big fights pitting USA versus Mexico coming your way. Ivan Tena, the undefeated fighter who has never seen a third round in his professional career against Roberto Romero Hernandez, undefeated in his last four fights. Carlos Rivera, the well-traveled knockout submission expert taking on Landry Ward, now five and one, looking to take the bad taste out of his mouth of his first defeat. Coming up here in moments, Valentina Escobar of Chile and Yasmin Najira of Mexico City. Glad you go to Max Perez, Rodolfo Roman, let's go. Sabía que al final iba a terminar peleando MMA. Soy Valentina Escobar, tengo 24 años y vengo de Santiago de Chile. Pasé por una etapa muy difícil para mí donde vivía abuso. Lo superé por medio del deporte, se convirtió en mi pasión. Mi nombre es Yasmin Nájera, tengo 25 años y soy de la Ciudad de México. Valentina. Vengo de un deporte de lucha y ahora con el striker me siento sólida, me siento fuerte y también me siento muy potente. Ella es una chava aguerrida, tiene una trayectoria ya por detrás de otras disciplinas. No se va a dar por vencida fácil. Yo creo que voy a finalizar en el segundo round. Espero dejarlo todo en la jaula. Vengo a ganar, he luchado mucho por esto y no voy a dejar que nadie me lo quite. Soy también difícil de vencer y lo voy a dar todo. Vengo más fuerte que nunca y lo vas a sentir. Valentina, nos vemos en la jaula. Big fight as we go head to head, cara a cara. This is going to be a 120 pound catch weight. Both very young, Escobar 24, Najera at 25. One inch taller is Escobar. She has a four inch reach advantage. She looked really impressive last time we saw it. Let's see if she will pick up from there against Najera. Getting a first look at her here in Combate Global this evening. Time to rock and roll, which means we go to Lupe Contreras. Entrando a la jaula, Valentina Escobar. Escobar is one tough cookie, and she talked about all the injuries that have set her back from her judo career. Stopped in judo because of some gruesome throws that kept her out a long time. Went to Muay Thai, and now to mixed martial arts. Training with Barrio Franklin, head coach Juan Carlos Pinto. We've talked about the emergence of the Chilean fighters, in particular in the women's ranks, where she also gets to train with Gloria Bravo. Yeah, but this time around, she took herself to Brazil to train with the Hon Vassal fight team and Mujeres Super Poderosas. Train with the folks in Brazil. She's a strong fighter, great striking, great wrestling. And just to see if she puts in the jiu-jitsu tonight. Now for her opponent. Su contraria, Yasmin Najera. Yasmin Najera. Unlike any fighter we have encountered here in Combate Global before. Nicknamed the Nina Arbol, the tree girl. Says she is in contact with nature. She also explored with a few things that she was <laughs> open about, she laughed about. We're not judging, but certainly, let's call her the Combate Hippie. <laughs> Maybe that's that's not, that's not right either. She is looking to make a name in mixed martial arts. She just goes to the beat of a different drummer, Rodolfo. Great strokes, great striking, has a boxing background. She's very bubbly, very friendly, but don't let, 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 let that deceive you. Of course, a lot of nerves are coming into play right now. Lots of butterflies. She has to set that aside. She needs to keep very focused. Valentina is a strong opponent with great striking, so footwork will be very important in this fight for Yes. We'll know a lot more than we do now. Let's go to Lupe. 
Las reglas oficiales de la jaula, tres vueltas de cinco minutos, tres jueces utilizando el sistema de 10 puntos de este duelo. A un peso pactado a 120 libras, this bout of the catch weight of 120 pounds. Los jueces son, the judges are, Mark Streisand, Richard Green y Richard Green Jr. Presentando en la esquina azul, vestida de rojo, presenting the blue corner, wearing red, sobre la báscula, marcó un peso oficial de 120 libras y un cuarto, on the scale, she registered an official 120 and one quarter pounds, en su segundo combate profesional, con récord de una victoria, she enters la jaula, for the second time as a pro, with a record of one victory, representando a Santiago de Chile, Valentina, Escobar. Su oponente en la esquina roja, her opponent in the red corner, wearing black, vestida de negro. Su peso oficial, 119 libras, her official weight, 119 pounds. Igual que su rival, entra por segunda ocasión a la jaula con récord de una victoria. Like her opponent, she too enters la jaula for the second time as a pro with a record of one victory. De la capital azteca, la ciudad de México, Yasmín. Niña Árbol Nájera. El referee, Alana Vélez. Alana Vélez, yes. the third inside the jaula. All right, I gave you guys the instructions in the locker room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch them up, go ahead. Come out, fight. Judge. 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 Valentina Escobar. Fight, fight, are you ready? Fight! Yasmin Najera, Najera in uh, the black, representing Mexico, facing Chile. Right from the start, look at Valentina. She's going to pick up the pace. She's fast paced, very aggressive. Yasmin needs to do that footwork. She can't fall into the trap. See how she's coming in already? Very vicious with that cross from Valentina. Valentina was so impressive in her MMA slash combate debut back in April of this year. Drawing a lot of plaudits for what she was able to do. Remember making the move from different combat sports. Does have a nice background. Valentina has a lot of power in those hands. She has that knockout power. Look at she sets up that jab. Lots of feint switching stance. Joe! Got one in there now. Yeah. Huh? Yasmin felt that one. And it just takes one, Max, to find to to to, to come to to terms, okay, this is it. My butterflies are out. I just took this first shot. Let's get let's get to the fighting. Nah, that was a boxing instructor, but Escobar showing her wherewithal with the fists. Great kick from Yasmin. Nah, had a last fought in May of 2021. Victory by decision. Trying to get a fight afterwards, but she's had to deal with two surgeries, also with COVID. Oh, great rope. Hook from Valentina. Valentina, just great movement. Look at that shoulders. How head, she sets yes. Side head movement. Very confident. Setting apart. Positioning herself where to strike. Setting it up with that left. That jab. She switches stance so nicely. Very, very smooth. Yeah. Nahara just going side to side, keeping very active, but very easy for Escobar to track her down. Taking a lot less movement doing it. Valentina took on Fernanda Larios last time we saw her in La Jaula. And she walked in as the underdog, but boy, was she impressive. Look at that overhand right there. If that would have connected, this fight would have been done. These two would eventually project as strawweight fighters. Valentina Escobar looking to make the top 10 potentially with a win. And Yasmin knows the power that Valentina has. Look how she circles around. And that distance between that two, that space becomes wider and wider because Yasmin moves out. So she needs to work the angles with Valentina because she comes right at you and she does leave some of that opening in her chin. You just have to cut her. Anina Arbo with some good strikes here, starting to get into a better groove. See, she, she comes right in. As soon as she comes in, step that left foot to cut her off. I know it's easier said than done, but <laughs> show us. That's what it is. Oh, I, <laughs> trust me, I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> Nahara using a lot of energy, just 
to move, caught one on the way out. Overhand right from Escobar. Talked about Gloria Bravo, she trains with down in Chile. Talks about her, her life. She says, I, I live a little on the outskirts of Santiago. I go to the gym, I'm there all day. I come home and I sleep. Rinse and repeat. This is her life. Yeah, she has to come in, the Yasmin needs to come in. Valentina is pushing the pace. But she has to strike. She has to let them hand go, hands go. Too much backing up from Yasmin. Oh, look at Valentina just striking that power. She the clinch for a moment. Yeah, she tried to grab in, grab that that neck, bring her down and land the knee. Great exchange. Yasmin closing that right eye a little bit. Oh, and there's another good one. And now Nahida has got something to deal with. That eye is yeah, it's that right puffy. Eye. Yep. Yeah. You can see the damage done there, and Nahada trying to move away. Not, looks like her vision's okay. 30 she was, seconds. She was squinting there, there for some time. But Valentina is just waiting for that chance to just corner her and land a flurry of punches. Overhand right, uh, doubling up. Oh, Nahida oh, goes oh. down. She's. Valentina's just picking on that eye. Great exchange here to land the, to finish the first round. We're gonna go to round two. Ooh. In between rounds, both fighters with something to talk about, something to build off, I'm sure, Escobar. Had a good start, had a good finish. In between, some nice moments there for Nahira. Valentina, though, just aggressive, great head movement, good boxing. Good footwork. Switching the stance very fluidly. And Jasmine. Yeah, and, and Valentina's corner said, look, she doesn't want to fight. She keeps she keeps backing up, but I was saying, she was backing up that space in between them. He's paying wider and wider and wider. He's to bring it in, he's to fight, throw the hands. Second round, second round. Back here inside of the hollow, ready for round two. And, and just to reiterate what we heard in the corner, Escobar's corner saying she doesn't want to fight, talking about Nahida, and by and large, she has not been that active. A lot of movement, look, look waiting for face. a counter punch. Look, look, she'll throw and she just goes back like, I don't know how many feet. <laughs> Escobar's just gonna take the right angle here. Oh, just missed over the top. Nahida almost walked into that. See, she'll come in close and then just, it's like a four fight gap between the two of them. But that right hand has been cocked a couple times. You have to imagine it's going to find its target here. Listen, if, if that howler wouldn't have been there, Yasmin would have kept going back. <laughs> she literally got caught in it. That's that's why she was backpedaling. She needs to come in. Let the hands go. Nahada just doesn't have the, the background that Escobar does. Doesn't mean she can't win this fight. Got to be creative in finding a breakthrough and be very careful because if Escobar closes ground, it'll fall right into her hands. Little jab. Escobar gets the nod from all three judges on our official scorecard. It's almost as as soon as Valentina strikes, it could be the quick jab, something not even powerful. Jasmine just backs away. There we go. Now we're getting a little closer here. Back into the tie clinch again. Muay Thai is where she turned to after her comeback career started in judo. Oh, nice. Look at that. She's just picking apart. And again, Jasmine just running away. You got to come in. We asked these fighters what the best advice they have been given in their MMA career. And we haven't seen it yet, but Valentina Escobar said the best advice she was given is do jujitsu every day. That's what you tend to get from some of the fighters where they're so confident with their hands. Jujitsu practice, transition, transition, transition. 
defense, defense. I mean, you just gotta do it repetitive, repetition. As we look at the uh, stats, 69 punches for Valentina, Valentina and uh, Jasmine, 52. Even on the kicks. That's a takedown oh, there. there. Not hit off. That's what she needed here to change the pace of the fight to throw Valentina off. Single leg, doing well here. And she got her down. Watch the back of the head. Yeah, the warning there for Escobar with those elbows. Nahara has a advice that she sticks by. In Spanish was, las victorias no te las suben a la cabeza y las derrotas no se dan a claven en la corazón. So the victories don't let them get to your head and the losses don't let them get into your heart. I like that one. Sure. Sounds better in Spanish. That, that, or at least the way I said it. That, that you can never fall in love with a victory, you know, that every, every opponent's or, gonna be different, and your fight right, stop. will always be different. Stop. Fight. And right. your losses, you could overcome it. You just gotta learn from your mistakes. Don't wash them away, learn from them, but don't let them haunt you. I think Yasmin now found out the recipe she needs to throw Valentina off, and that's change the levels, go to the ground. But she has to be cautious. She actually ran out of that exchange, ducking her head. Straight left. Now had combining a little better. It's been a much better round for the Mexican fighter. And she had that takedown, which is something she can hang her hat on. Interesting, Escobar with her judo background, and as well as what we've heard about her jujitsu, hasn't attempted anything to get this on the ground. Always striking first, though. She's trying to find something, but the, again, that gap, it just goes from two feet to seven feet. That gap between the two fighters. Jasmine busted there under the nose, or the bone, the nose busted open. She's bleeding there. Oh, trying to good catch body up. shots, yeah. Keep those hands up, though. Yeah, just leave it. Those are hanging low. Escobar set up with a jab. There Another go. takedown. Get yeah. enough of these. Nayara is going to have a chance to win this fight. She's having success in this position of wrestling. Two Take good takedowns in his second round. Make it three or two and a half. Good positioning of La Jaula. She's going to scoop her up if she has a chance. Valentina using her hips. Not taking this fight on the floor. Not some clinch work. Maybe some knees from Yasmin. Valentina throwing an asset judo that comes into play. Oh, maybe looking got for her in awkward some position. shots. She may be saved by the, by the bell here, Max. Clubbing away on Nahena. Won't have time oh. to finish the job, though. Round three awaits. <laughs> Things getting a little more interesting here after the second round. And will those takedowns sway the judges here. Look at this action from that second chapter of this fight. Valentina just finding it a chance, but then Yasmin throwing those hands, kicks. But what really made a difference for Yasmin in this round are the takedowns, where she took her opponent down, grabbing that leg and taking her both to the floor, where she landed some shots. She did have some control there. Threw in some body shots. Valentina just very aggressive, pushing the pace of the fight, dictating where it goes. Last round, Valentina, stay in your corner. Last round, stay in your corner. Last round, fight! Time for the third round, and we await the scoring on the second round because that's what this is going to be. We'll change how the strategy for this third round. Unfolds. Yeah, that take those two two takedowns are gonna make a big difference. Let's see how the judges saw it though. Was it enough? Max Pretos, Rodolfo Roman. Glad you could join us here on a Friday night for our loyal viewers. You know what it's all about, and it's always changing. But this has been a fantastic fight card throughout. Some big fights. We got some big news that we're gonna get to regarding next week here in a moment. And for those that are new, welcome aboard. You're in the right place if, you know, Friday nights for fighting. That's what I was told. Jasmine using those shoulders. Oh, well, they're going to open the scoring here, Max. Valentina also takes this round 
as well. Okay. So those takedowns just weren't enough. I little surprised. Well, I, I like what Escobar okay, but what did, did you but, do? But what did you do with those takedowns? Did you do something? Well, I, I, strike? I thought it was something. I didn't think Escobar did much in that second round. But she connected. She was she was throwing in those hands, and they were they were efficient. So many people think, okay, the guy or the girl took her opponent down 20, 30 times. But what did she do? She she would she or he or she could control your opponent for three four minutes. But if you're just grabbing on, is that enough to impress the judges? Is that enough for you to win a fight? Are you damaging your opponent? You've convinced me, Rodolfo. <laughs> You've convinced me you should be a, uh, a judge. <laughs> Just kidding, you're a great commentator, <laughs> my friend. So Valentino Escobar with some breathing room. And maybe if Najera gets a little aggressive, the opening will be there oh, for Escobar. Oh, oh. Some good ja jabs. Yeah, Jasmine now using that jab. Great Short. shot from that, that right hand. Takedown gets flushed. We bet, I mean, we didn't know a lot about Nahira. I know we saw some tape and we we're like, okay, there's some deficiencies there. I, but it, there's, yeah. there's something to build on there. I'll tell you this, much improvement from that first fight, that pro fight that she had. And over time, in that first round, again, that gap when they exchanged became wider and wider. But as the fight developed, it got shorter and shorter. Now she does want to exchange. But she knee. felt they were comfortable with the takedowns. Escobar wants a satisfied feeling. She wants to walk away with perhaps, hopefully a finish, a submission, something in a fight she was favorite to win. 24-year-old from Santiago de Chile. Nice kick landing on the outside left leg of Yasmin. Great stiff left from Valentina. Stick around, big main event coming up next. Ivan Tena, Roberto Romero. We also have Landry Ward, Carlos Rivera coming up as well, both in the featherweight division. Three ranked featherweights in action. And Tena, a very special fighter, Dad currently fight. ranked at fifth. He would be even higher if he had more fights. If he wins tonight, he will make a move. That fight's gonna be fun. Good exchange. Not much behind that kick by Nahira. Escobar firm with hers. Hops yeah, into action with that power jab. Valentina using those kicks to keep Yasmin at bay. Preventing her from coming in. Well, we saw it all with Andrea Meneses, how Spanish MMA is on the women's side, really on both, improving and interest starts to raise. Same could be said with Chile more and more fighters and we've seen them all and Claudio Quintana with an incredible knockout a couple months ago. Carolyn Gallardo who is uh, the number one ranked fighter at 115 pounds. Gloria Bravo number three at the Adam Weights and now Escobar. So three good female prospects, top 10 fighters. Escobar not there yet but has a claim in about 30 seconds. Sure should be uh, in the drawing there when the rankings come out next month. Blocks that kick for him and now had nothing behind it. Now it looks like she's going to go the distance. Oh, Yasmin. Yeah, Final 10 seconds rounds. here. Now she's going for the takedown. That, yeah, but this point's a little too late. That guillotine here for Valentina, perhaps. No, Not really, just away. wanted to set up yeah. with some striking. Put on a little pain to wrap up the third round. And uh, Valentina Escobar on her way to improving to 2-0, and oh, both in combate. We'll be back with the official decision here from Miami. Mi nombre es Roberto Romero Hernández, tengo 22 años y soy de Chihuahua, Chihuahua, México. 
Empecé a practicar MMA por mi hermano mayor, ya que él era instructor de, eh, de artes marciales en un gimnasio. Pues poco a poco fue haciendo la transición al MMA y pues ahí me fue involucrando desde los 13 años. Bueno, pues mi estilo de pelea es un peleador aguerrido, un peleador este, que va hacia adelante. Eh, puedo pelear en cualquier área, de pie, en el piso. Me gusta pelear de pie, pero siempre empujando hacia la finalización. El año pasado nos reconocieron con el premio de la pelea del año a mi compañero de Calle Montañez y a mí. Esa pelea fue una pelea de tres rounds, la verdad fue una pelea intensa, llena de acción en todo momento. Hubo knockdowns, este, hubo comebacks, entonces pues fue una pelea bien emocionante en todos los aspectos. Cuando me siento cansado, siento que estoy perdiendo una pelea, pues lo que me motiva a no tirar los guantes es primero que nada mi familia, todas esas personas que están ahí afuera de la jaula pues esperando a que yo salga con esa victoria o que al menos salga bien, entonces pues eso es lo que me, no me deja tirar los guantes. Pues yo creo que lo que me diferencia a mí de mis oponentes es la garra, la casta que, que saco en, en mis peleas. Eh, sinceramente yo me subo a entregar todo, a dejar ahí el corazón y pues es lo que venimos a hacer. Welcome back. Some applause from the fans, trainers, fighters that have gathered to see this. Two undefeated fighters. One will remain that way. We're we'll about to find out. Los tres jueces entregan tarjetas de 30 a 27. All three judges turn in scores of 30 to 27 in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. A favor de la vencedora por decisión unánime de Chile. Valentina Escobar. Valentina Escobar, victorious 2-0. And, oh, and now we wait to see what's next. Good to see Yasmin Najera can smile about it. She'll pick up the pieces. We'll be happy to see her back. Certainly she was an improved fighter from the last time we saw her. Campbell McLaren looking dapper inside the hollow, which is good news for Escobar.